the way we will see the evolution in the world of work over the next five to ten years will be far more greater than what we've essentially witnessed over 200 or even more number of years. We've seen a lot that can essentially just be done in terms of content creation and all of us have actually been playing on chat GPT for the last few months. Creating job description is easy. We've already been looking at how AI can essentially help us recruit fast, recruit smart, remove, recruit a lot more accurately and so on and so forth. But look at how we need to be able to build the entire world of generative AI and that model in HR on a generic open AI platform. We need to be able to bring in the entire of the HR functional knowledge, whether it is the terminology, matrices, compliance, skill, analytics, whatever you would essentially have that will really make it intelligent to understand HR. And then be able to add in the organizational context, and this is really, in my opinion, which has never been done in the past because this is the capability that Gen AI brings to all of us as humanity at this point in time. We're fundamentally talking about personally identifiable, identifiable information, the PIIs. You can't have my data, my age, my family record, my health record out there on the open web. And that's really what a large part is, is being solved as we're essentially talking about several use cases of generative AI in the world of HR. I'll quickly talk you through the journey that we are undertaking in People Strong as a very, very comprehensive HR technology company across Asia Pacific. It's incredibly powerful for us to be able to bring that capability of generative AI across the entire value chain of talent. There was a CEO, Aman Verma, and the generative AI right now is a live description of how we will essentially take the annual operating plan of this organization, what's been decided by the CEO and his, his leadership, very quickly help him recommend what's his OKR or KPI is going to be, very quickly allow him to pick the same for his direct reports. If I'm the head of HR for this organization, I would actually, in a matter of 30 minutes, have a draft version of my OKRs, of my KPIs available to me. The moment I approve those, improve upon and improve those, I will essentially have the draft ready for all of my direct reports. Meaning thereby, by the end of the day, you could potentially create a great version of your OKRs and KPIs for the entire organization, the last man and woman standing. When we talk about our talent strategy, much of that is centered on creating that high potential strategy for covering not more than 15 to 20% of our people. What about the solid citizens right in the middle of the belly of an enterprise? And the power that generative AI essentially gives to our talent coach is to democratize the entire talent strategy that's available to every person working in your organization. That individual bases the role that he or she does with all the data that we already have on that information right from the time that the person got hired to all of the training programs, assessments, etc. that the individual has gone through, the engine could actually very smartly recommend what are the different career paths that are available to you, What's your degree of fitment of your current skill readiness to take on the next role? What are the different learning programs that are available in my learning software or my learning management and the integration that I've essentially done with external MOOCs and so on and so forth? If you are a manager at a press of a button, you would actually know how many people for this particular role that I want to fill are ready now, ready in the next six months, ready in the next 12 months. So fundamentally succession planning at a press of a button. Imagine a head of HR who has to get ready for his or her NRC the next morning, right? We get into a conversation with our analytics engine, Ginny, to understand what should be the top four priorities for my next compensation increment cycle. Let me go a little deeper into what do you mean by internal equity? And very clearly, what comes up is not what we actually think of internal equity. It is talking about gender pay parity. We would very quickly see that even in gender pay parity, we're talking about something which created, creates imbalance between how we're compensating men versus women. 
only after five years of employment in our organization. Let me get a step deeper into understanding which are the departments which are paid more than what they should be paid as per my comp philosophy, or the ones that are paid less than the market as per my comp philosophy and so on and so forth. We're literally talking about generative AI making you significantly more efficient to only hit your time and your money and your resource on the points that will make you far, far more competitive and effective in the marketplace. And now imagine all of this across the entire space of talent strategy, not in slavers, but helping you create the most comprehensive talent operating system.